Hello friends, this video on determinant part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. Example, this, please pay attention because all these questions where we have to solve without expanding, there you have to think a lot. See, from this example, what we can make out is, in the right hand side we have elements such as A, B, P, C, R, X, all single elements. In the left hand side we have everything on addition. So that means we have to somehow break this. Without breaking we can't solve. Correct? If you break this then only you will get single element. For example, if you break this guy this becomes B, this becomes C. So you will get single elements. Let's break this and then solve this. If you break the left hand side, I am taking LHS only now. So what you get is, let me break this guy first. Let me break these values. This becomes Q plus R, this is R plus P. This becomes P, I plus Z, Z plus X, X. See this hidden trial method because we know we had to break, so let's break this, that's all we are doing. And uh, this will also be B plus C, C plus A. Uh, you can try breaking in some other form. We should be able to get answer. But the logic was here to break it. And thus we broke it. This becomes Y plus X and this is X this is Y. So this is my determinant. I got this determinant as sum of two determinants. Correct? Now what should we do? Now we have to make, if you see, APX is here, we have this, BPY is here, that means somehow we have got one row in both of these. I mean just think this, our thought process, because we got similar exactly same row which we are looking for, same row which we are looking for here, right. See up and down we can understand, we can swap rows, that also we have property. But we have got exact same row and that is if we can somehow convert these guys also in exact same rows problem is solved because if you see APX this guy is similar to this guy and BQY is similar to this guy so that means if you can convert this guy into uh, these these rows row 1 and row 2 for this one into this fashion a problem is solved now if you see if you compare these two rows, if you say C plus A minus A you get C, R plus P minus R you get R, Z plus X minus X you get Z. So you get C, R and Z and C, R and Z is, is something which you are looking for. Correct. That is if you apply, if you, if you say in this case, in this case if you say C2 is equal to C2 minus C3, sorry R2 is equal to R2 minus R3 row 2 is equal to row 2 minus row 3. So what you get? You get again a similar row for this first one. And for second one if you say, let's do the same thing for here. We have got B here, I can subtract B from this, but I can subtract B from these row. First row. So here I say R1 is nothing but R1 minus R3. So in this I'll get C, this I'll get R and this I'll get Z, C, R, Z the one I am looking for. So what I will get here, B plus C minus, um, B plus C is not changed here because this for this it is R2 is equal to R2 minus R3. So R1 is not changed. So let us write R1 here like this, B plus C, Q plus R, Y plus Z. R1 become, R2 becomes R2 minus R3. So C plus A minus A becomes C, R plus P minus P, R, Z plus X minus Z, Z. And R3 is same, APX plus for this I am applying R1 is equal to R1 minus R3. So B plus C minus B is C, Q plus R minus Q is R, Y plus Z minus Y is Z. My R2 is unchanged and my R3 is also unchanged. This is what we have got. Now what do we see? So we have got two rows here and two rows here. Can we convert this guy also in one of the rows? Yes, we can. If you see this is B plus C. 
if I subtract this guy from this guy, b plus c minus c become b, q plus r minus r become q, and y plus z minus z become y. So this becomes b q y. This the one I'm looking for. Similarly, here also I have c plus a, r plus p, and y plus x. If I subtract c, I can subtract this from this because there is no common. But c plus a minus c, I get a. R plus P minus R I get P, Y plus X, this is Y plus X minus, why I am not able to subtract this, this is C, R and this is Z, R plus P, this is Y plus, this is Z plus X actually, correct, Z plus X, Z plus X minus Z I get X, C, R, X is something, one more pair I am looking for so let's do this so here what I'll do I'll uh, perform the operation so this guy is this one so here I'm going to perform the operation is uh, r1 is nothing but r1 minus r2 and here I'm going to say r2 is nothing but r2 minus r1 correct r2 is r2 minus r1 here r1 is r1 minus r2 so what I get is here is b plus c minus c is b, q plus r minus r is q, y plus z minus z is y, and other rows are unchanged c, r, z, a, p, x. Similarly, plus first row is unchanged because no change in row one. Second row I am changing r two is equal to r two minus r one. C plus a minus c is a. R plus p minus r is p z plus x minus z is x and the last is also unchanged b q y now if you see i've got two uh, determinants and the values are look same b q y i have one c r x z is there a p x is there here also c r z i have a p x i have b q i have but it is not in the same pattern why because I want APX to be in top, BQY in second and CRZ in third. So I can perform one operation where I can move this guy to this guy, right? APX and this guy, R2 and R3 I can swap. So APX come first and then I can swap. After I'm done with that, I can swap this guy with this guy because if you see here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get these. Okay, let me try one operation first. So let me first APX in the top position. In this guy also, let me try to put APX in the first position because I want APX in the first position. So with this, what I get is here the rule I am following is I'm swapping row one and row three. Here I'm swapping row one and row two. Correct. So what I get is in this APX become first and then CRZ is unchanged and then BQY. For this what I get is again APX become first because I changed this, this guy and CRZ came here and BQY is in the bottom. But what I'm looking for is APX, BQY and CRZ. So I have to swap these guys now. If I swap these guys, I'm in good condition. If I swap these guys, I'm in good condition. Correct? So let me swap that. So that we, I'm swapping here R2 with R3 in both cases. So what I get is, and they are same actually. So I can just say 2 into APX, BQY, CRZ. And that is my answer. So what I've done in this step, I swapped also and I added also because both were same. So it'd be two into this and I swapped R2 and R3 and I get this answer and this is my answer. So this was a little tricky question where you have to think a lot why you are doing this. The first clue which we got was because here we have all separate and here we have all added. So we broke it. The moment we broke it, we found that we got this, this, this row and this row, the one which you're looking for. And then we found that if we subtract these rows from this row, we'll get one more row which we are looking for. We got two rows which we are looking for. 
and then we found that for the, this row also if we subtract with this guy we will get similar kind of row we did that we got all the rows which we are looking for but they were not arranged properly so we arranged them properly using property and we got the let's take one more example here also we will have to solve without expanding it see here also we have to somehow prove that two rows or columns are identical how to prove this I don't know we it's a difficult question actually if you see this let's let's try to prove one of these rows as bc0 so what does one approach one approach i can think of is if i can multiply these numbers with c and this with b so both this guy will have bc and then if i subtract these two it will become zero and then here also I may get the similar value just trying so let me multiply this guy with C and this guy with uh, this guy with C and this guy with B why I'm doing this because I get minus BC I get minus BC here then I will try to subtract this correct so this is nothing but 1 by BC into I'll multiply the first row with C so this becomes 0 into C is 0 A into C is AC this becomes minus BC minus A into B is minus AB 0 minus BC B C and D. What I am done? R1 is nothing but C R1 and R2 is nothing but B R2. Now I'll try to subtract these because that gives me 0 here. I'm trying to see if I get equal. So I'll subtract these two. So I'll get 1 by B C into 0 minus A B is A B. AC minus 0 is AC and minus BC minus minus BC is 0. So what I have done here, I have told R1 is nothing but R1 minus R2. And everything else will be same. This guy will be BC0. Correct? Everything else is same. Now if you see, they are proportional. 0, 0, C, C, A, B, B, A. Correct? So let me take out A from this. So so this becomes a b by c this becomes b c 0 this becomes minus a b 0 minus b c this becomes b c 0 so what i have done i have told r1 is nothing but r1 by a so i'm telling this i took out a from here now if you see this guy and this guy are same so this guy is nothing but a b by c into 0 and that is it so the target here was to make two rows zero and somehow we just tried it, we just saw uh, and we thought okay let me multiply the first guy with B and second guy with C and subtract them to get zero and we got the answer. We can try some other way also, you will get the answer if you just keep trying different properties and applying logically, you will get the answer with the intention that you have to make two row or two column identical. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.